All right, so I'll actually just start us off by making a block rig. So avatar, rig builder, block avatar. There we go. If this reminds you of anything, bro, it's the love guide. And by the way, actually, if you have any ideas for a next love guide, because I am going to make it. <laughs> I am going to make one. <laughs> so give me, give me ideas, okay? But that aside, you came here for rigs, okay? Which you're a weird man, honestly, if you came here for a rig. But here it is. Now, the goal here is to kind of explain to you how like rigs work in Roblox. So this is like a humanoid rig, right? But you can have rigs that don't look like this. What if you want a rig that's like a spider, right? Like how can you make a character that's like a spider? Um, because then that's going to let you like, you know, animate it and everything. So, and you know, like give it health. Um, so how do you do that? The way, well, the way you do this is, so you have a rig called model. So this is how Roblox does things, right? So I'll tell you what you need to copy from Roblox and what you don't like really need to copy. Um, so the rig has body colors, humanoid, animate, all of these parts. And then it has the humanoid root part, okay? So here's the thing. The rig is just a model, right? So you, we can disregard that. It's literally just a model. Um, body colors simply has the colors. It has the colors um, in, in terms of like, uh, what are these called again? Like the, the brick color ish something i think brick brick color yeah brick color okay yeah so it contains the colors of every body part for both the brick color and also the color three values right um and i believe yeah okay so yeah so the default colors look like this and so body colors also kind of tell you like why why is it why is it not changing there we go okay um, so, so body colors do, I think, require you to have these body parts. So they need a head, they need a left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, and a torso, right? So these, I believe, are like the required um, parts that you need to have for your character, right? But then you can have extras, like you can have left lower leg, left upper arm, whatever, right? So that, that's allowed. Um, or, and obviously like, humanoid root part is also allowed, right? But these are like kind of the things that you should have for your character. Um, humanoid is the tough one. Um, well, it seems tough, right? It's not really that, that bad. Basically adding anything, adding a humanoid to a model will make it be considered a humanoid. If I right now make part, 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 like so. There we go. I just move them together. And then I, I make them into a model. Okay. So group as model. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And then I add a humanoid for it. As of right now, it's technically considered a humanoid. Okay. Display name. Hello. Or wait, now. I'm actually not too sure if that's going to work, but yeah. So right now, because we have a humanoid, it's going to be considered a humanoid. Um, and then I think, I think the reason it's not working is because we actually need to like have like items here. Like we need to have a head, for example. Right. Yeah. So. We need, we need to have like all, all, all the body parts for it to work. Um, and again, all the body parts you can find here. But yeah, so humanoid, humanoid um, has, you know, these properties. So it, it has the name, uh, which by default, if this is nothing, it's going to be the name of the model. Um, you know, the amount of health. Um, or wait, no, 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 no. The display distance of the health. Um, yeah, name display distance. This is where you can find health. Yeah, so this is the health. This is the hip height. So the, you know, the height from the ground to their hips, um, maximum, this is their max health. Um, this is the maximum slope angle. So this is like how, like what's the maximum angle they can walk up on before they begin falling. So as you can see, when the angle is 90, then they begin falling. So they can't walk up a 90 degree wall, which because a 90 degree wall is like facing straight up. Um, yeah. Walk speed, jump power or jump height. I, I don't know why you would have different like I, I don't know the, the point of this but i guess if you want to sure uh, platform stand which i think is the thing that causes you to move with platforms that are like moving this is jump so this whenever jump is true the humanoid jumps um yeah this makes the, the humanoid sit this makes them walk to a position um and yeah so this, the, the the you know a lot of these are fairly self-explanatory um Humanoid description is basically just a more advanced version of body colors. So it shows you accessories. 
it shows you the animations, um, which I think this represents the amount of animations that are playing right now, I think. Something 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 along those lines. Again, these don't really matter um, if you're making your humanoid. Uh, or actually, no, these might be the... Um, what are they called? These might be like the, uh, the, the like the order um, at which the animations are like overridden, right? So maybe maybe the animation with the highest number is like gonna be like gonna override the animation with the lowest number. I'm not too sure about this, right? But yeah, then we also have the body colors, um, body parts, which I think this represents how much body parts your humanoid has, um, clothes. Yeah, and then you have scale, so body type scale, depth scale, head scale, how big the head is, height scale, proportion scale, wood scale. So th this is kind of like scaling um, in regards to other body parts. So if, if I make the head scale 2, for example, for our humanoid, then what I'm basically saying is like, oh yeah, on average, so like by default, this humanoid's head right now is actually two times as big as it should be. Meaning that what I'm telling the game is that, oh yeah, usually this guy's head is two times smaller. Um, which I think only is a, like, I, I think this only works for like, like hitboxes and like pathfinding and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so, you know, you, you got that. Um, don't, don't really worry about this. Like you don't really have to change much here. Body depth scale, height scale, proportion scale, width scale, head scale. Like this is the, the only thing I don't get. Like they have things that just do the same things like body type scale, depth scale. Like we have these here right or actually no unless body type scale wait or what what actually might happen is that maybe if you change them here it changes them here which again i don't know why they have this because can't i just change them here? like i this, this it's kind of stupid right i think to be safe it, it it would be smart to like add all of these right um but yeah and then you have this thing called status which I think it represents the current status of the humanoid, like whether they're um, swimming, jumping, falling, walking. And this is the animator. So this is where you can load animations and play them, um, which is very simple. And the way you load animations is you just, let me, let me just show you real quick. You say like script.parent, I think load, yeah, load animation. And then you give it the animation, which then loads the animation um, to the server, right? So it's like to the character. So now the character knows, okay, I have this animation. You're basically like storing the animation inside the animator, which lets you play it from the animator. Because that, that is the only way you can play animations. You have to load them inside the animator, which is inside the humanoid, blah, blah, whatever. And then this, this is a local script, which simply is responsible for uh, animating the character. So scale dampening, I think. I think this is just like, it dampens the animation, which... Do I know what that means? Not really. But basically, yeah, so you have these values that are named, you know, cheer, climb, dance, dance two, dance three. Um, so these are the names of the animations. And then inside of, of these values, you have the actual animations, right? And then you have this bindable function called play emotes. So I think this is like four emotes, you know, M might be, might be, I'm not too sure, might be. Um, yeah, and then you have, uh, you know, the animation tables, you have weight, which I'm not, I don't even, I, I can't really read this, bro. This is too complicated. If you want to read this, you know, be my guest. But this, you don't need to do it exactly as they did. This is, this local script is just responsible for actually playing the animations when something is happening, right? And then obviously you have the parts. So you have the head, which has a bunch of these attachments for the, um, like, like if, you know, like to put on like hats and everything. So this is the face attachment, uh, the center of the face. This is the front of the face. This is for their hair. This is for their hat. As you can see, these are literally the same exact attachments, right? Uh, the neck attachment, this is the original size of the head. Um, so if the head is ever changed, you always have the original size. Um, this is a wrap target, which I think is for like, like the, the mesh. So I think this is just to get, to give this, the head like this shape that it has right now. This is the face image. And then this is a motor 6D of the neck. So I think this is like, if this breaks, then I think the character just dies. So, right. So I, I think this is kind of, this kind of controls like, like them being attached together somewhat. Right. And then, you know, all of the other ones are very similar. Oh yeah, it does. So it basically kind of like, like holds them in place with something else. So this holds it in place with the, the, the fucking, um, 
the left angle, right, or the le left foot. Um, left hand, left lower arm, left lower leg, left upper arm, lower leg, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then we get to the humanoid root part, um, which I believe everything is attached to the humanoid root part. I'm pretty sure. So everything, yeah, like I, I believe the majority of like how this works is that like, you know, like let's say the, the like the, the this arm is attached to this arm and then this arm is attached to the waist and then the waist is attached to the humanoid root part, right? So in short, every single thing is attached to the humanoid root part. So in game, if I were to move the humanoid root part, then everything would move along with it. But if I were to move like this small bit of arm, it would just move by itself and the character would stay in place, right? Um, and that's, I think, basically all there is for rigs. Um, if I were to play the game right now and actually showcase you, you know, like a real, real rig, you know, a real, a real situation. Um, yeah, so, so these are my accessories, right? So these are, you know, the pants that I have, which are underneath here, like, you can't really see them, but I, I am wearing, you know, pants and shirt. And then you have the, um, the accessory for hands, which are, which, which are these. You have the um, health script, which, yeah, is just responsible for generating, like regenerating the humanoid's health. Um, so yeah, there is a bit of, of a difference between like the rigs that you generate and the actual like player rigs. So yeah, the humanoid, you know, very simple. These, this is the realistic Chad full body muscle suit. Um, <laughs> so yeah, all of these are like my um, amazing outfit. But then as for everything else, yeah, I believe everything else is, um, yeah, you have sounds as well. So inside of script, like it actually adds stuff into the character, right? So right now it added sounds to my character. So, you know, this, this is the sound responsible for when I'm like, let's say running the splash, when I'm swimming, whenever I jump, whenever the character gets up from being falling, whenever the, the player dies, whenever you're falling, like, like, you know, from a high distance or, or whenever you're climbing. So all of these sounds play when you're doing, you know, all of the respective things. Um, and like I said before, human and root part, if, if I take this right now and I start moving it, oh, he's falling. Oh, that is not nice. All right. I think the issue may have been that I'm changing it on the local side and not the server. That might be a small issue. Cause let me see if I take the human or root part and I move it. Actually, I'm not, I'm not even too sure. Oh, okay, okay, I think I understand now. When you're moving it something in studio, it will never respect like whenever something is connected, right? So if I'm moving something in studio, then it's like, it, it, it doesn't care that all of these are connected. But if I were to change like the um, the C frame of something, then it respects the, um, the weld. Uh, confusing, I know, look, I get it. The, okay, just leave this video knowing that like, if you want to teleport a player somewhere, uh, change the C frame of their humanoid root part, and then that's gonna teleport all of them to wherever, whatever position and orientation you told you told them to teleport to, um, because everything is connected to the humanoid root part. And then when you change the C frame, it respects all the connections. When you move it in studio, it doesn't respect the connections because it's dumb and stupid. So, yeah, hope you hope you learned something from that. Um, you can check the comments. I do have a course in there, so you know you might want to check that out. Um, and yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching.